Buddy, what's going on everybody? This is Polo, and this is going to be my Two Worlds 2 uh, single player slash multiplayer uh, intro, well single player review, but anyways, um, the single player I'm going to cover first, multiplayer second, that's, you know, what a, what a giveaway. Um, I'm not going to give away spoilers or anything like that, oh, uh, so you don't have to worry. But uh, I'm gonna do a live commentary of me running through the first mission in the, in the multiplayer and uh, beat up on some wolves while I talk about the single or yeah while I talk about the single player and uh, the single player uh, pretty good uh, not exactly gonna eat your life away um, as far as the story goes the story is all right um, you know not the most fantastic thing in the world like I said but um, it is still pretty good. More towards the end. Towards the beginning, it's a little bit slow starting up. Um, the opening cinematic for the game is absolutely epic. But the uh, holy ambush. But the uh, the the gameplay is 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 pretty good. Um, like I said, the game takes about an hour and a half uh, from when you start the game up to to really get to the meat of what's going on. Um, you don't really get to set off on your own uh, until uh, a bit into the game. Um, but it there is actually a pretty nice twist at the end compared to the the first game. I'm not going to give it away, uh, but compared to the first game, it's you know the the story is much much better. 110% improvement over the first one. Um, so bravo. Let's see, bravo South Peak Games and uh, Topware. So. Yeah, congratulations to you guys. This is definitely not like game of the year or anything like that. Yeah, uh, Primo uh, uh, AI uh, right here. Um, this wolf clearly has no idea what's going on. Yeah, that's another thing I'm going to bring up. The AI in this game, oh, there he goes, um, is not the best in the world. Sometimes the enemies will just clearly be standing there looking at you, not paying attention. Um, other times... It's like, how did you even know I was there? Uh, but for the most part, um, they are going to be completely oblivious to you until you attack them. And uh, let's see, game st or the the gameplay styles uh, or the like the classes. Um, this, as you can see, is like a is a mage. Uh, well, specifically a necromancer. But in the single player, you pretty much uh, can play as. Uh, depending on, like, it's not like a class system, you don't, like, pick a class, but you just, you just develop the skills you choose. Uh, you find skill books laying around, and you learn a skill, and you can devote points to it. Uh, whether it be, like, you know, you can have, like, a warrior, or a thief, or a mage. Those are the, the basic, uh, the, the three basic classes in any real, uh, uh, RPG. Uh, the leveling system is pretty nice, as you can see, I just leveled up. And, um, it's, it's, it's pretty nice. Let's see, what else? Um, the, the single player, there's so much to do. The spell system is absolutely amazing because it will, abs it will, I mean, there's still some things I haven't even done yet, um, as far as the spell system goes, because you can create just about anything uh, you can imagine and that is pretty nice um, I had a lot of fun creating spells you can make just about anything uh, you can like have a spell that shoots out a fireball and then when the fireball hits the enemy it like rains fire down from above and stuff like that um, you can do rain one of my favorite things is ranged summoning um, and uh, you know that's pretty cool oh get knocked down by the bear right here but um, ranged summoning is actually really cool. Um, if you if you don't want to get uh, stuck in in the action, you can treat it um, almost like a like a strategy game, 
and um, and uh, keep your distance, summon people at a distance, and then you can heal them. Um, uh, for the necromancer lovers out there, that's kind of weird. But uh, for the necromancer character lovers, um, you can. There's a way. There's a spell you can make. You can reanimate uh, dead enemies to fight for you. Um, and so much you can do. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna go back and and do too much more of the single player simply because uh, I'm gonna start doing reviews of the multiplayer and whatnot. But um. Let's see, I now I've reached this guy that I'm going to... That's all I'm going to say about the single player. Uh, if you guys want to know anything else, just let me know. Um, if you want me to devote an entire video to single player, let me know. Um, but now I'm going to focus on the multiplayer aspect of the video and talk to this Dorthar character. So here we go. Whoops, whoops, here we go. Ah, I know who you are. Don't worry, Hal. And now you're here, an omen? <laughs> it's no consequence. What matters is whether or not I can count on you to help. You'll learn everything you need. There's a graveyard near here where a horde of the undead has somehow got the notion they should be walking about. Come dawn, they sleep, but only through the daylight hours. Others have looked to me to intervene. But my magic is for the living, not for the dead. I sense you have some skill. I know you could hold your own, is what I'm saying. Put them back in their graves, and it'll be worth your while. Alright, so I gotta go kill some undead. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed right there, but the voice acting in this game is also not that spectacular. Um, some instances it is pretty good. Um, other instances, it's like, what? What is this? There's actually one one portion near the end of the game. No spoilers, but it's it's like the you. <laughs> there's like this screaming bit, and it's it sounds ridiculous to be honest with you. It's 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 almost comical, and I'm just getting beat up by these Groms. Jesus, I might have to. Yeah, I'm, this is not a fight I can win. <laughs> Retreat. But anyways, um, textures and 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 uh, stuff like this is absolutely amazing. Uh, the frame rate vastly improved over the first game. Um, the uh, the character detail, well, much like the voice acting, the character detail actually, the character detail for the most part is actually really really good. Like look at these little Groms. These guys look awesome. Um, but the uh, the poo throwing goats that uh you encounter in the first like chapter of the game um which are i mean they're just some random uh enemy out in the wilderness um are not that great but then there's these like strider things there's demons and stuff you fight later on that are like rich in detail they look awesome and you know it, it really makes this game uh pretty nice and I like that it's, you know, the like I said, the frame rate. I like that it's not um, unbearably uh, bad this time around. Oh, Jesus, retreat again. Um, but uh, I guess more relevant is the difficulty of the game. Um, I don't know if, if you guys noticed, but uh, I'm having to repeat or retreat quite a bit here. Um, because this game can be quite difficult. Uh, let me get, all right, all right, here we go. This game can be quite difficult uh, at certain moments, and in other moments, uh, you know, it, it's all right. It's you know nothing game breaking, but um, but it's it's a healthy level of difficulty. It's like you know you can't really run around and and uh, be god mode all the time. Uh, sometimes you can, but you're gonna run into those, especially in the new chapters or in new areas. You're gonna run into new leveled enemies that uh, will just dominate your face. Uh, to be honest with you. And, uh, and, and that is no bueno. No bueno. Oh, Jesus. Alright. Whoa. Whoops. Health potion. Why am I not using a health potion? There we go. Um, yeah, as you can see, the, uh, the, uh, the combat is quite difficult. Um, the buttons are not, I mean, they're responsive enough, but, um, sometimes you're left like it. It, it won't cancel animation, so if you're staggering backwards, 
uh, you won't be able to do anything else until the animation has completed. Um, which, for the most part, at least for me anyway, um, I find that frustrating. Uh, being more of a fan of, of quicker paced games or, uh, you know, like like Call of Duty and such, you know, being very quick paced games. Um, I don't really like it when uh, I can't do what I need to when I need to, uh, if that makes any sense. But uh, let's see, I just hit the 10 minute mark. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. So uh, I'm going to end this first video right here uh, and then part two will be up a little bit later so uh, until next time guys peace